Live from Xfinity Center, I'm Wayne Viner. That's Bruce Posner. We have a new coach, Bruce. Yes, we do. Impressive performance by Coach Willard. Under, you know, unusual circumstances. He just got the job. Uh, didn't have time to really prepare too much. But uh, he's got a lot of work to do. And he's certainly qualified to do it. Uh, you know, a lot of pressure is going to be on right away. And uh, he seems like... He really wanted the job in the worst way. And Damon Evans made it clear that we weren't sure about, but he was his choice the whole time. I believe that after tonight. Well, he's been Jordan, Young Turp Jordan's choice the whole time. He's been in our radar. And one thing I do like is he beats the Big Ten when he plays them. He did well against the competition this year. Um, I like the Jersey tough part. I think we need a little more of that kind of toughness. You've been here a long time, watched basketball your whole life. Does he remind you of anybody in particular? You know, a little bit like Harry. You know, he's got the same kind of, uh, what's the word, confidence or uh, what's the right word? I'm thinking of, like uh, you have con the mic, so. confident arrogance. He knows yeah. he's good. Yeah. All right, Gary always knew he was good. He seems like the same way. I love the way. Uh, I love the way he schedules non-conference. To me, that's been one of the biggest things lacking under the Turgeon era was the weakness of the non-conference schedule. I don't think we're going to see that from him. He's going to take on everybody. Maybe we'll see a Gonzaga, a Kansas, somebody we should be playing where there's really not much to lose. I think that's part of his swagger. Hi. I'm Maryland wide receiver Rakim Jarrett. If you've been hurt in a car crash, people will tell you you need a lawyer. My mom says you need my lawyer, the Jack Litch Law Group. Find out why clients, judges, and other lawyers call us the big dogs from the small firm at 855-BIG-DOG-1. Don't just get a lawyer. Get, get the, the lawyers. lawyers. If you're hurt, listen to my mom and bite back with the big dogs. Do you remember those great games when it was lefty and it was Gary and they played Arkansas, West Virginia, LSU, they played them here, they play them anywhere. The other big news is there's going to be a basketball practice facility. It's going to probably be two years from today before it opens, but they got the $40 million. Wait, because where would it be? Right over there. So if you go out the, what most people use is the front door of Comcast Center, uh, kind of if you want to pan up that way. It's, it's going to be in the parking lot on that end of the stadium. Uh, there's a little grass area outside that's going to be used up as the new practice facility. It is the Barry Gossett, Gossett Barry D. Gossett, I believe, practice facility. Um, they got the $40 million bucks. How do you feel? This was the only school, I think, other than B.C. that didn't have one. Well, you know, it was necessary not having it in competition with the other schools. And listen, uh, Barry Gossett, there's two people you have to bless when we talk about Maryland. One, of course, is Barry Gossett, and one is Kevin Plank. What they've done to keep Maryland in the loop money-wise, contribution-wise, facility-wise, is untold. And I don't think you and me can emphasize that enough, how crucial these people are to the program. Here it is again. They go to the well with Barry Gossett and who comes through. Without even he wasn't even here tonight. In other words, Barry Gossett comes through because he loves Sarah, uh, Maryland uh, so much as his late wife did as well. And with these two people, you know we really represent well. It's great to see Coach Locks here. And uh, this was you know this has been a long period since the Virginia Tech game when Mark Turgeon whatever happened to him whether he quit or fired or whatever it's been a long spell. I predicted we'd have a coach way before April 1. I was right. There was never a search. The search was done with Kevin Willard. It was convincing him to leave Seton Hall to come here, and it seems like it was time for him too. And with that, we're going to wrap it up here from Xfinity Center and go say hi to a lot of friends we have out here in the crowd. Uh, we will be back after the Maryland-Penn State game. We'll do a wrap-up Maryland-Penn State lacrosse show on probably on Monday. The game is Sunday night at 7. And remember, uh, Turp Talks on tomorrow at 6 p.m. I'll have a lot more to say about what happened today and the uh, future of the Turp. And I'm going to talk about a subject 
that nobody is talking about, and that is the weak performance of the Big Ten two years in a row in the NCAA tournament. And let me tell you something, 10 and 10 is not going to do it anymore, Wayne. You know, uh, Notre Dame was 15 and 5 in conference, and they had a play in to get to the tournament. 10 and 10 is not going to do it. You know, the, you know, the women, four teams from the Big Ten are in the final 16. The men, two. How, Wisconsin loses? Illinois loses? You know? Yes, I do. I mean, it, just, it just wasn't as good as one would have hoped. No, but, but tune in tomorrow on 1300. 6 p.m., as always, or on TerpTalk.com. And we will see you after the Maryland-Penn State lacrosse game. Good evening.